Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hello. <laughs> you are on listening to the best podcast in the world. <laughs> That's what I we're going to we start so. calling ourselves. <laughs> the best it's podcast in the world. I'm a little biased, but I think it's fucking fantastic. I think it's fantastic. It's like one of my most favorite things that I do during the week is record this oh. podcast because it's so fun. Because I got my bestie right there. And wine. And I have a drink. Yay. My drink's almost gone because Yay. Heather and I have been talking before he started recording and I've been drinking it. <laughs> I've been nursing mine, so, but... I got a okay. bartender that will come back through and check it in a little bit. I could probably get Megan to get up and make me a drink, but she is one-legged right now, so. I know. She <laughs> Oh, look at her. Oh, she's getting up. I see her. <laughs> she heard me. She's like Aww. the best child ever. You didn't have not have to get up, honey. Did you, oh, watch it. Watch out. <laughs> oh, my God. She's, She's got, got a little chair, her little wheelie chair thingy. So I don't know if well, I told like a, everyone. A it's a scooter. It? It's a scooter. Oh, okay, scooter. I don't know if I told everybody that she had surgery and is laid up now with her poor little reconstructed ankle. <laughs> I'm not quite done, baby. Well, you better you just to toss her okay. back. All right. Hold on a second. Okay, let's watch this. Come on. It's through a straw, so that's like, you know, easier. But, oh, <laughs> that, that was a sweet sound. Um, do you want me to tell you what to make? Yeah. Okay, so this is what it was. <laughs> Some um, cran raspberry juice that's in the bar fridge, like this much. Yeah, I'm doing the finger this much. And then some of the vanilla crown royal, like that much. Mm -hmm. Splash of peach schnapps, splash, several splashes of lemon juice. You got that? So, several would be three mm -hmm. splashes. I put lemon or lime juice in every drink I make, FYI. Because <laughs> I like you know, it. I bought lemon juice for And a house. little bit more ice. Sorry. <laughs> what? I brought, I bought lemon juice for this house for the future visit whenever that's going to be from you. Yes, you have to have it. I like I buy lemon juice at Costco, like the two big jugs, <clears throat> because oh, I, I use big jug. I use so much of it, and Megan uses it too. We drink a ton of lemon juice. I don't know why. Yeah. What does that? What are the health benefits of lemon juice? It's got t well, it's got vitamin C. Awesome. Um, yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really have any calories. Very much calories. Does it, does it make you shit? No, I don't think so. No, it doesn't help with No. That. I mean, it's a right. fruit juice, basically. Well, then it helps you shit. I guess it does. But you usually don't use that much of it at a time. Not like, you don't pour yourself a glass of lemon juice like you can pour yourself a glass of orange juice. I guess some people might pour themselves a glass of lemon juice, but. You know what I've been getting into a little bit down here mm -hmm. is drinking champagne. Really? And I hate carbonation. I do too. I don't I like I it. Do, but, I, but I, you know, that 40th birthday that you planned for me. Yeah. I remember the first place we stopped and then they gave uh, me a glass of champagne. Oh, that's right. That's right. They and did. I actually thought I was going to just down it because it's free alcohol. But mm -hmm. I sipped it and I really liked it a lot. I don't nice. still love the carbonation part, but I actually like the flavor of champagne. So oh, I it kind of gives me a headache champagne does a little bit but i've heard that about it but i don't think i've that doesn't seem to I've affect you <laughs> no i get headaches from other things like hunger oh yeah yeah stress yeah stress, <laughs> stress like mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> if i drink three or four bottles of my bestie of wine the night before and we don't sometimes pills, sometimes that can give you a headache yeah we haven't done our not a headache we haven't done our intro. Do you want to try it? Oh, we need to do that. Okay. Main thing is that I don't wait for you. I'm just going to go because we did okay last time. Okay. So we're not wait. We're just going to do it. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. Just like normal. Don't look at each other. Let's just do it. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Let's give it a try. All right. I'm Jacoby. And I'm Heather. 
and together we make a jether. <laughs> you hesitated. No, I didn't. You I are, went. You're behind me. Oh, well, on my end, it sounded like we were right on together. <laughs> See, last time when you said we were together, I sounded like I went ahead of you. Maybe we're having on just a technical end. thing where we just... I don't know what it is. If we're not in the same room, we, like, fucking can't do it. I don't know why. <laughs> we're really trying, guys. We're trying really hard. It's just... We will get there. We just have issues. Eventually. <laughs> there, All right. More centered. There, I'm more centered now. There, oh, perfect. That's better. That's much better. It's just confusing with the whole mirror thing. I know. I know. And you're oh, close hey. up. I'm, like, far away from the camera. What? Oh, because I'm in my office. You know, well, I have the, the um, I have the other little little camera on the tripod, so I'm okay. not using my computer camera. So. I mean, I can move back. Yeah. Is that better? No, then we can't hear you as good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, now I lost my train of thought. Was I? I know you're gonna say something. What were you gonna say? I was. I don't. I'm trying to think what it was now. <laughs> uh, well, I have a topic. Because we promised everyone that last week we would actually have a topic this year, this time. <laughs> so okay. I basically just went to Yahoo and like clicked on one of the articles. Oh, that's always good. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Were I'm you gonna... able to find one that didn't involve Russia, Ukraine, or Biden? I did. But that's a tough feat, right? Well, now. right now it's all Johnny Depp, Amber Heard, and Elon Musk has bought Twitter. So there's all and that did you shit. See the newest thing on Johnny Depp with that recording that came out. Which there one? Was a recording. There's the like a ton today. of them. The one today. I don't know if I saw it today. So the one today was a recording of a conversation him and his, at that time, wife had when she basically had just basically did something to him physically and she was like basically saying that and it was recorded that no one would believe him because he's a man and she's a woman oh it's and not it that's actually recorded that's not the one where she admitted that she hit him right where she said i didn't punch you i just hit you no not that one okay it was a different one it's a totally <laughs> different one holy crap <laughs> So this woman's actually coming out to be quite abusive towards him. Well, and I guess she's had two other former boyfriends say that she was abusive to them, too. Like, so she's just a fucking bitch. Like, a so, narcissistic, emotionless bitch. I and mean. She's take, she ruined his career. She like, did. Like, he doesn't even get to be in the next Pirates movie, which I know. I'm going to boycott. I can't watch that. With I'm him. not watching that without him in it. He makes those movies. Like, you can't yeah. not have him. And I know. You don't mess with Johnny Depp, Depp, okay? You don't mess with him. I watched my first Johnny Depp movie in, like, junior high, Nightmare on Elm Street, and I fell in love with oh him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Don't mess with Johnny Depp, bitch. And they and he better get his fucking career back. Because I know. Because coming out now that she lied about everything. And, and it's so funny because they, like, they're talk they have a conversation where she said... Because Dior was hiring him to do their their ads or whatever. She's like, why would they want you? You're like an old fat man. You don't have any style or whatever. And then they show the commercials he's in. And it's like, he kills it. Like, it's so uh, great. He's freaking hot still. Oh, my baby just brought me a drink. <laughs> you know, she's been doing that since she was 12. What? Oh, vanilla. But peach is fine. Peach goes great with the peach schnapps. Oh, that's good. That's really good. I know. She's like, she goes, oh, oh, that was the last of it? Okay. She's like, did you mean peach crown royal? I said, well, I said vanilla, but peach is fine too. Peach is fine. She's like, we have like five different kinds of crown royal. I'm like, it's okay. You, any one of them is good. She was married to a woman? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, it's getting better. Megan no, saying not, no. Megan saying Amber. that she was married to a woman and the and that she punched her wife in an airport. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard so this. Does she even realize she just ruined her career? By she this. did ruin for her one, career. Everybody hates her. One, oh, everyone hates her. She comes out. What? She
already? Is it the Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh. She's saying that Johnny Depp already has new roles lined up and Amber Heard has nothing because nobody wants to touch her at this point because she's a fucking bitch. Does he have the Pirates back? Did they, are they doing Aquaman 2 with her in it? They better not be. They are. You know what? That fucking pisses me off because I love Jason Momoa. Now I'm not going to go see that movie. I'm not going to go see anything with her in it ever again. To do what? (laughs) There's a petition to cut her out of the movie that has 3.8 million signatures on it. Um, they don't usually even have that many people go see a movie. I'm going to so. email someone as soon as we get done with this podcast and tell them that I'm not seeing that. And then neither is any of my friends because she's in it. Nope, I'm not. They're going to lose hey, so much you money. Figure out, if you figure out who to email, send me it. I'll email them. Okay, I will. And I'll be like, fuck, no, I'm not going to see your stupid movie. I'm not going to see your movie. And I love Jason Momoa, but nope, not doing it. Not doing that. Maybe Jason will be like, uh, find someone else because I want my movie to be successful. Yeah. Get this bitch out of here. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really ready. <laughs> this is a happy one. Okay. Happy Usually you're day. like, you know, top 10. 10 yeah. practical ways to improve your happiness. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. okay let's hear this. Okay. Usually we have like... 10 top 10 best foods or best horror movies or top 10 worst ways to die or whatever we do. Yeah, the worst way to die. <laughs> I don't know if we've fun. done that one. I'll have to look that up. All right. We're going to have to do that one again if we haven't because you know there's probably a better list now. I don't. <laughs> if anybody has a top happen. 10 worst ways to die, send it to us and we will read it. All right. Number one, invest okay. in family and friends. Okay. That means like improving relationships and spending time and sharing experiences together with those people that are closest to you. Makes sense. I mean, sense. we can we can get back behind that. I can totally back that up. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> the second one this is a hard one for okay. us. <laughs> what? Not drink? No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, okay, thank God, because I would assume that makes yeah. you happy. Drinking's not on here. Surprise, surprise. Number two, join a club. We, so we did that once. We joined a dance club. We did. That's how we met. We also were. You're still in the scrapbook club. That's what a scrapbook club? club. That's well, a yeah, club. but that's not a club. That's a subscription. That's not a club. Um, we're in the podcast club. What? <laughs> that's just you and me. <laughs> Any doesn't matter how many people are in the club as long as you're in a club. We can call anything a club. Okay. Well, don't you have to have at least three or so to be a club? Four! <laughs> if it's just two, it's like a partnership, isn't it? I, well, we, I'm going to bring Thor in. Okay. We have a club. And now, he, now we're a club and I got Megan. There's four of us. We're a club. There's four of us. Maybe it'd be six listeners we have can join a cl- and become a club. Do you think? Like, what do you want to do for a club? Like, what? It says, okay. okay. Yeah, he's here now. It says to voluntarily, voluntarily and regularly associate with other people. So you have what to do now? it on a regular basis. A socialize with people? Voluntarily. <laughs> it says voluntarily. <laughs> like, you're, like, you don't want, you can't be forced into it. So, voluntarily and regularly associating with other people. I I do with my neighbors. That's good, but th- yeah, okay. I don't know if that's like a club, but uh, um, maybe. How about how about neighborhood Thor? club? I don't know if it's a club. No. We met some more people though of mm. our club uh, of our neighborhood. Yes, we that's met a good. Cody and a Jenna that are across the street down the way a little bit on the street nice them a couple days ago so yeah we have a, a chris and megan and we have a cody and jenna and we have a diane and lightfoot oh yes i've heard about lightfoot yes, yes. all right number three okay does thor know he's part of the club 
No, I don't think he's like, he seems confused. Okay. Because I didn't really tell him why he, he came in here with a bottle of wine. He's it's like, what? <laughs> he's Wait, probably always alcohol? confused when we're talking about shit. Okay. Number three. Okay. Be active both mentally and physically. I think I got that one. I think so. Yeah. Yes. To keep yeah. things simple, try just to walk for an hour and read for an hour each day. Oh, I easily do both of those. Okay. Perfect. I don't, I'm not a reader like you where I read a book. I read a lot of articles though every day. <laughs> that's, that's good though. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Number four, practice your religion. Let me okay. read let me read further before you make a comment. <laughs> All right? Okay. This might sound impractical if you don't have a traditional faith or practice it traditionally. Okay. However, for purposes of happiness, religion can be understood more broadly as just like a spiritual or a philosophical philosophical, is that how you say that? path in life good. so if you just have a general philosophy of how you want to live your life just kind of follow that in your day-to-day -day activities do we have a philosophy of how we live our life the jether way um, <laughs> drink wine and try not to bitch too much drink wine mm-hmm Try not to bitch. Yeah. Hard. Try hard not to complain about everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, quit saying everything's fucking shitty. Um, save. But everything is really shitty. Though. Save animals. That's save our mission. Animals. There you go. Our mission is always to save animals. Yeah. See, that is. So, you know, we can use that as kind of our philosophical mm -hmm. path of life. I have a feral kitty that likes to stay on my uh, back porch at night. You do? <gasps> yep, and there's three or four I catch on my little um, surveillance camera hey, every night. Hey, did you look at the, my camera from two nights ago? No, what, what, <laughs> what, what's on there? So I have a, um, it's not a ring doorbell, but it's a, just an outside outdoor security camera that's motion activated. And Heather also has access to my camera. <laughs> I do, I get um, notifications. Yeah, so I had it armed the other night and you can see the neighbor cat that's been fighting with my cats like running away from the door if you look uh -oh. later you can see him he's what, like orange how, how it looks like buddy it? or benny but it's not it's that it's that other cat and he fights with your kitties huh yeah so and i think that he's trying to come in the house at night and eat the food we have a so cat is door. he a neighbor cat or is he a stray cat? I think he's a stray cat. He looks pretty scraggly, pretty scruffy. You know what you should do is trap him and get him to the Yes, house. I told that. So I told Jessica this because Jessica works um, or she volunteers at the Humane Society like every weekend. And yep, she said, yeah. I can bring you a trap if you want to catch him because I would like to yeah. catch him and take him there. I said, well, yeah, but you just trap my own cat in the trap because they put food in it right i'm like well my own cats would go in there and they'd get trapped so and then she's like well do. yeah but then they'll know i said no they literally will not learn and they'll keep going what into if? the trap what <laughs> so she you... said she was gonna bring me eight traps seven oh. for my cats and one for the stray cat because <laughs> my cats well, are too dumb to stay out of the trap you can just keep your cats in for the night and put the trap out. I could do that. And then I never thought of that. <laughs> I literally never first, thought of that. That's the very <laughs> first thing I thought about. It's just you only need one night. One night. And just bring them all in around 8, 9 o'clock. Okay. And then lock them in. No more cat door. Lock them in. Put mm -hmm. the trap out. I Maybe literally didn't even think door. about that. <laughs> well, then your cats can't get in the trap if they're in the house. That's right. He's very cute. He's orange with white paws, and he's but he's so skittish. I can't get close to him. So, yeah. Okay. Well, if they can't socialize him at the place, 
Mm -hmm. He might actually turn out to be a lover kitty. I bet he is. I bet he is. I think he's just scared and hungry. Exactly. Yeah. So. And your cats don't want him there because it's their mm -hmm. territory. Mm -hmm. And he wants to eat because he's, you know, he's hungry. trying to survive. You know. So, yeah. Baby. I would just keep them in the house and do the trap. All right. I will do that. You, I'll get a trap and Jessica. You know, you could do that this weekend. I could do it this weekend. Mm -hmm. That's a great project for this weekend. I think that weekend. would be a good project for this weekend. Okay. Because make it could help you with that. Yes. I will maybe uh, message Jessica and see if she can get me a trap then. Yeah. Because, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. When there's help available, you might as well do it. You might as well do that kind of shit when there's someone around to help you, right? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, me too. Number five. Get physical exercise, which I feel like but we I already that said. Was, they already said that. Oh, it Mentally says, it says, this is a slightly souped up version from number three. Oh. Your daily walk should be supplemented with a purposeful exercise plan. Purposeful. You do that. You're right, purposeful. But daily. But it's not daily. I don't lift and work out hard. It doesn't say like daily. It. it just says get physical exercise. Okay. I try to do three to four days a week. But I don't. Okay. I, I can't do that every I day. feel like um, me um, mowing the fucking lawn on Saturday counts as a whole week's worth of oh, physical no, it exercise. It is. Because I thought I was going to die. Week. I thought I was. I would say was... for three days. That three, days. Like three days? Yeah. Because so I thought I was going to die. Off. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I thought I was going to die today with the pavers. That's, yeah, Falling that was hard. That's pavers. a couple days worth right there. That's a couple days worth. I felt like I got my workout at least today. Yeah. Does it count? Does me, the painting the cabinets count? Because I'm up and down and up and down. Does it count? <laughs> You could probably count that if you're doing some good squats while you're doing it. I am doing good squats. Okay. Because I have to squat well, down to paint the cabinets. Plus, you know, you have to reach up. And I have to reach paint. up. It's it's yeah. a lot of up and down. Okay. I'm yeah, going to count it. Okay. That counts. Okay. Number six. Okay. Act nicely. <laughs> I knew this one would get you. <laughs> what do you, what now what does this mean act nicely I okay mean, like, to everybody to like every single person or Ag just like i'm gonna you? read it i'm gonna read it you ready mm -hmm. agreeableness is consistently found to be highly and positively correlated with happiness and it can be increased relatively easily Agreeable, so you're supposed to be agreeable agreeably. you're supposed to be agreeable but I like to be agreeable <laughs> You Agreeable can't. is also could be gullible. No, no, not necessarily. Like or walk all over if I'm like, oh yeah, okay. Oh, this yeah, is you want. not oh, writing okay. in your work notes at the front desk. It was a fucking raging bitch. <laughs> she was a bitch. <laughs> You're not yes, acting to... nicely right now. <laughs> she wasn't. A I was reacting from her bitchiness <laughs> towards me. Now, okay. if she would have been nice, I would have reacted nicely back. <laughs> However. And I actually didn't do anything to her. I, I actually know. was like, I, I didn't know. I didn't say anything back. You were back. trying to help things. them. You were offering help. I was. And she was rude as hell to you. It's okay. She really was. You and know what? She probably has a miserable life. She probably is she has horribly miserable so we should just feel sorry for her well i feel other things towards her she sure. doesn't have a drink with peach crown royal in it well with that <laughs> attitude i bet she has a bunch more drinks than us yeah <laughs> <laughs> number seven be generous i am generous you are so very are you. generous yes generous oh behaving altruistically towards others Rewards the brain with happiness-inducing boosts of dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. Yeah. Wow. Generous. That's a lot of big words. Yes, it was. Yeah. I'm surprised that I don't even know if I said them all right, but it sounded good, right? They sounded really good. I fake, Way better than I they fake shit really mouth. good. 
<laughs> I, I, I just, I filtered so hard there. Uh, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. But, yeah, we need a new topic. Let's quickly, go, okay. Um, I, really to say it. I don't, just let's move on. All right. Okay. Number eight. Check your health. Okay. Okay. Of all health issues, those that create the greatest unhappiness are typically chronic pain and anxiety. For oh, sure, yeah. right? Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Don't neglect visits to the doctor and the dentist. And seek mental health assistance if your emotions are interfering with your work relationships or social activities. Okay. I feel like that's so true. Like, so many people have anxiety. Like, so many people have anxiety. Mm -hmm. They really do. And anyone that has chronic pain, I feel for you. Because to be constantly in pain, it's it's horrid. It's, it's it literally it's horrid. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it just saps everything out of you, you know. On the record, I don't have chronic pain on a daily anymore. It flares up so at times, but it's nowhere close to where it was. Because dental assisting. Because you're not assisting anymore. Because you're not I leaning don't over. Assist. Yeah. No. Nope. I mean, and then with my new job, my desk raises. Like today, I didn't sit at all for my job. That's fantastic. I'm actually, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting good enough and comfortable enough that I can talk and walk. Now, oh, good. I haven't, good. I haven't started walking out of my office yet, but I'm pacing in my actual office now. Good. And then I just go to the computer really quick and type something in when I need to. Like, I don't feel like I have to be like a life vest to the computer now. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what it felt like before. But so it's eventually I'll get to the point where I'm like my boss and I hardly have to do anything with my computer and I can just remember everything <laughs> and put it in after I'm done. But I'm not there yet. That's fantastic. If they can do that, that's great. Yeah. Hmm. All right. But are you ready I, for number nine? I am so ready for number nine. Experience nature. So I basically so think this, this needs to go outside. Too, yeah, this, <laughs> this list isn't doing too great for me. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm decently happy, but damn, I don't do a lot of this stuff. I'm not a nature person, really. I don't oh, like the hike. We're supposed to walk in a woodland setting. How about a desert setting? No, it says woodland. It says I mean, it. I can find woods, it dramatically, dramatically lowers stress and increases positive mood and enhances your working memory. Well, I don't know about that because now I've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds. Oh, How me too. Ah, ah. So <laughs> oh, I just on started. Three. I just finished season one. <laughs> Oh my god! You'll be caught up with us anytime. We're I like will. almost done with season three, but so how many murders happen in the fucking woods? I don't want to walk in the woods. <laughs> well, you have to walk on a well-traveled path. You don't just like go out you in the know, middle of fucking of nowhere. These people get killed on a, on the well-walked path with a bazillion other people around. They're dumb. Watching, They're dumb. Keep watching. <laughs> They can't help it. The person comes up behind them with a little syringe and put it in their neck and they knock out and drag them oh, off into the woods. Shit, off the trail. I haven't seen that one yet. No, it's coming. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what season, but it's coming. <laughs> but damn. I'm like, oh. no, I'm not going to the fucking woods. I know. I walk like he... on, well, you can walk on like in Wenatchee. Like if you walked on like the loop trail, that's sort of like that, right? But it's pretty okay. public and crowded. So. Yes. Yes. Something like that. Like you don't have to go out the middle of butt fucking nowhere, like don't deliverance do that. shit. So don't yeah. Don't go out there. No. Yeah. Unless you're just gonna dig your own grave and lay in it and wait for <laughs> the person to come for you. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're in the woods. Right just just dig your own grave and lay in it, man. Cause they're gonna fucking kill you, man. <laughs> fucking BAU is gonna come out here and catch the they killer, are. but you're still gonna be they dead. Are. Yeah, you're gonna be dead. <laughs> it's your dead right. <laughs> all right yeah. later after we've watched like all of the, like, there's like 14 seasons of Criminal Minds. so and they're still making them we will have to like find a top 10 list of best criminal minds episodes and we'll do that 
Holy okay, crap, but so, many good ones. so that's you guys can expect that in a few months. We'll go we'll get that done. Okay. Yeah. All right, number ten. This one is gonna be really, really hard for you, Heather. Like Wait, nearly it's not impossible. Alcohol? It's not alcohol. Oh, well, it God. involves alcohol, but you're oh, not I'm gonna stopping. You're not gonna be able to do this <laughs> with your job. Oh no! What is this? <laughs> Socialize with colleagues outside of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. No, they live across the country, so that's a hard, like, right? Literally, it's Florida, Washington, D.C. Well, Mary, it's Maryland. It's not. It's yeah. Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, Florida and Ohio are my yeah. co-workers. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Maybe once a year. Maybe you guys could get together or something. I mean... Ellie wants me to. Yeah. She really wants to get me to Florida, but I'm not going to the convention. I'm going to go to the next. I guess we have two conventions a year. I might go to the second one. Yeah. But. Yeah. Oh, well. It's just. Uh, yeah. No, I thought it was fairly, uh, it's fairly lonely, actually. Yeah. Because I have no coworkers that I can just <laughs> go and chill at the water cooler with. I don't really have a lot of coworkers I've hung out with outside of work besides Aaron and Tara a little bit, but that's it. I thought, didn't you go to lunch with Alma once? Mm -mm. I've gone to lunch with everyone at the village, like not just Alma, but like everybody. And then with Tara, isn't it all work stuff you hang out with her outside of work with? Um, We've done a lot of work stuff. She's come over to the house a couple times just to pick stuff up or drop me off. Um, okay. But yeah, it hasn't been a whole lot. Mostly Aaron. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And everyone on here knows Aaron. Yeah. Everybody's seen Aaron. Unless, so. unless it's last year new because we haven't had her on for quite a while. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't even have a second mic set up now, so I can't have guests yet. We need to work on I that. Technically I technically can have guests. They can't have a mic or like they can't have a headset. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, but I do have another headset, mic. but I, I'd have to hook up the other mic, and I don't know if that's oh. possible right now. I got Merlot under my desk. Oh, I got Buddy right here. He's well, down I to sleep. I Did you know that it's been, oh. it has been, I saw on Facebook today, exactly 12 years ago that we adopted Buddy. And he was I so, love that. He was so tiny, a tiny so little he's kitten. he's a 12-year-old Kitty. Mm -hmm. He's 12 years old. Yep. So he still has some life in him. He does. He's our oldest kitty. But yeah, he's 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 got a ways to go yet. He's doing good. Yeah. He's so cute. I'm glad he's decided to do his retirement inside. Finally. Mostly. Finally. And he's finally, after how many years, decided that he can use the cat door. <laughs> You're welcome for that. Thor and God I helped start, start that thing. But how many years ago was that? <laughs> you know, we've had the cat door for at least five years, six years. I don't know. I know. Whatever. They're dumb. Okay, anyways. That's the end of the list. So that's how you guys can be happier. I just told you. <laughs> Go do it. You know, if Merlot would be this good, she could be in here while I work. I had all three dogs in here while I worked today, but not her. I made her oh, stay in the bedroom. Does she still. barky bark? Often. Yeah. Yeah. And I just can't have that on a phone call. I know. I know. Like Patron for some. So Patron usually doesn't stay in here either because he's a barker too. Mm -hmm. You know. And so today, because Brandy knows the routine really well. So she, around 530, because I'm, I'm up at four every day. So yeah. around 530, I start to wind things down, get my breakfast and, you know. And I start starting to put a few things in my office. Brandy around between 5.30 and 5.45 comes into the office and lays down on the little blanket I have in the ground. I need to get a dog bed for in here, obviously, I think. But I have a little blanket down there. She lays on that. And we've been doing this for a month now. Where she, ever since the owl thing happened, she oh, won't let me yeah. out of her sight. Yeah. Poor baby. She's traumatized. Well, but she has to be with me at all times. It's mm -hmm. not even Thor. It's me. She has to be with at all times. Yeah. 
But anyway, so she comes in and she's laid out there. And then Cognac, I usually have him free roaming in the house. And usually around nine o'clock, he comes and scratches his own door and walks in here. So I let him in. Today was the first day that Patron actually left the bed. He likes to sleep in. <laughs> him and Merlot usually stay in bed until I start hearing them at the door of the bedroom door. Because it's literally kitty corner to here. Mm -hmm. Like it's right down like five steps away from this room. Hence mm -hmm. the bat master bedroom. So I can hear them starting to scratch on the door and trying to get out. You want me to let them out. So I don't usually let them out for another two hours after that. <laughs> Today, that lazy ass got out of bed and at 530 followed Brandy into the bed, into my office and laid down. Oh, he's so like, I, I want to come too. I'm just going to sleep. I, I promise. And he did. He didn't try to get in my lap. And you know how big this is. Mm -hmm. He didn't try to get in my lap once. He didn't bother me. He didn't come scratch out my little leg or anything, trying to get me to notice him or pet him. He laid on that bed and just slept the whole time. So he could probably come in now. Mm. Well, good. I'm glad. That makes me happy. I know. Yeah. He did good. Brandy's a champ, though, with it. Yeah. But I guess we're at, I guess we're at time, aren't we? We are. So we're going to sign off. But, um, we are. That was well, great. Happy everybody, Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Everyone should be more happy this week. And if you followed those 10 tips, I just like yep. read off. Follow all 10 of those tips because you know I'm going to be doing it now. Drink wine too. That wasn't on the list, but I'm going to tell you to do it anyways. <laughs> it's happiness in a glass, guys. Happiness in a glass. All right. We're going to sign off. I hope everybody has a good weekend. I'll see you next week. <laughs>